here in Shanghai uh, to show you some exemplary situations that are interesting for us for our autonomous driving systems. Um, this is part of our global intelligent world drive, a second station coming from Germany all the way to the United States finally in January. Um, and of course we develop these systems here, we test them here in China, are based in Beijing with a team working on driver system and autonomous driving systems uh, with a number of people, a number of teams uh, on our global, in our global R&D team. Well, we came here uh, to find some typical uh, scenarios of a uh, Chinese megacity from highways uh, to multi-story uh, skyways to very crowded areas where there is mixed traffic and we found all of that uh, and even more. We found some very interesting, very new situations for us uh, that we will evaluate. Of course, um, signage, uh, traffic lights even. In Shanghai we found traffic lights with, which show you the seconds how long the green phase will stay or how long the red phase will be. Uh, I have never seen something like this uh, up to now. So we're very uh, interested in the results we get. Um, we even had a pedestrian break, we were not looking for it, but we had uh, one scenario where out of a crowd one uh, pedestrian was walking and the car reacted as it should. So we're very happy with that. We have that measurement in our box, so to speak. So yes, a very successful couple of days here and we found exactly what we were looking for here in Shanghai. We will use the findings we found, especially here in Shanghai, uh, of course, to adapt our systems, to turn some knobs, uh, to make some fine adjustments, market-specific uh, in the future. For example, uh, very dense traffic scenarios where our systems might be a little too conservative or a little bit too caring uh, about the surroundings to better fit into the flow of, in this case, Chinese traffic. So this is a very valuable information that we get um, to, again, further adapt our principal uh, algorithms that we have to the specific market where we sell it, especially in this case for the S-Class, which of course is a very, very important market uh, China is. Of course, we have different uh, locations, different hubs of R&D worldwide. One large hub is located uh, as RD China in, in Beijing. And this will even grow because it is so important to know uh, the specifications of the certain markets and to develop with people from that market for that market. Uh, that doesn't mean we do, as, as I outlined, um, the development just in that market, but to adapt to that market. We do the basic development in our headquarters and then we see how we can better adjust it to the specific needs of that market. So our cars will be even more successful uh, concerning the assistance systems and especially when we look into autonomous driving uh, a little farther down the road, how that will actually suit to the specific market.